Hey there guys, welcome to Dino's Vault once again. In this world, there are some motorcycles that offer state-of-the-art technology and over-the-top electronic aids. Then there are some that offer brutal and unforgiving power and performance. But there is only one brand that can define a motorcycle for what it actually is. And that is Harley-Davidson. A motorcycle company founded in Milwaukee, Wisconsin more than 100 years ago and yet even in this digital age, every Harley-Davidson motorcycle carries the true essence of motorcycling and celebrates the true spirit of motorcycling while also letting us experience the sheer joy of motorcycling. A brand born out of the friendship of William Harley and the Davidson brothers, Harley-Davidson has always been about letting people experience motorcycling in its purest form. Over the years, it has become a lifestyle for those who choose to live free and a culture for those who love to explore the world. The IN 883 has always fascinated me right from its inception because of the dark custom design theme it carries, the age-old grunt that it puts out and the raw power that it delivers. The stripped down, laid bare and raw feel that the bike offers is what makes the bond even more special for every rider. The IN 883 falls under the Sportster range which also includes the models like the 48, the Roadster, the newly launched Sportster, etc. It almost feels like a custom-made motorcycle displaying outstanding character, great poise and a unique charm that holds special to Harley-Davidson motorcycles. More than just being a bike, this is a machine with a soul attached to it. Now looking at its design, I am a huge huge fan of dark custom designs from Harley because they never mess with the age old rich heritage of the Harley and yet manage to make their bikes look up to date for the current generation. Their design concepts are modern and radical, new age and stunning but still deep down inside carry the true essence of motorcycling that defines every Harley. The headlamp looks nice and striking up front. We then have the perfectly machined split 9 spoke cast aluminium wheels that look amazing. The classic peanut fuel tank is a signature design element of Harley Davidson Sportster models and it looks perfect on this bike. Now Harley Davidson also choose to call this bike an anti-chrome motorcycle with blacked out bits all around which speaks of its defiant character and rebellious nature. We then have a drag styled handlebar which is supposed to be an old school garage feature that offers a forward aggressive riding posture. The lowered rider seat height along with a plush tuck and roll seat offers great riding comfort while carving through the city streets. The pillion seat and pillion foot pegs are available as add-on accessories. The blacked out engine with bullet hole design details reminds us of old school bobbers that had lightning holes drilled in the metal parts to shave off weight and lend them that extra bit of pace to stay ahead of the pack. The powder coated 883cc engine with black rocker covers, the black throwback air cleaner cover, the closed loop exhaust system and the short styled black fenders lend the bike a stealthy and sinister look. The closed loop exhaust system gives out the traditional Harley rumble and grunt with the big twin design, durable mufflers with exhaust shields, a catalyst and mini heated oxygen sensors that improve emissions and drivability. This system is not only better for the environment but it also makes riding all the more exciting. Also, I love the way the tail light or the stop light is integrated into the turn indicators. It really looks gorgeous and would surprise most of the following traffic. The switches are well laid out, although the way the turn indicator switches are laid out needs a bit of getting used to. That's because we have the left turn switch on the left side and the right turn switch on the right side. Also, the instrument cluster is very well laid out. The speedometer is analog. The digital readout comprises of the odometer, trip meter, gear position indicator and even a tachometer. The display shows the gear position and taco automatically once we are up and running. Sadly, there is no fuel gauge but we do have a low fuel warning light. Now looking at the engine specs, the Ion 883 features the iconic Evolution engine which was first introduced back in 1984. The air-cooled 883cc fuel-injected 45-degree V-twin engine puts out a max torque of 70 Nm at 3500 rpm. The power figure is not officially disclosed but as per some online sources it is supposed to be around 50 bhp. This iconic evolution engine comes mated to a 5-speed gearbox. Also please note that this bike comes with belt drive rather than a chain drive. The advantage that a belt drive offers is that it is comparatively low on maintenance, it is quieter and there is no significant power loss as is the case with shaft driven bikes. 
Now, taking the bike out for a spin felt so satisfying because I personally have been waiting to ride this bike for a fairly long time. Well, that feeling of experiencing freedom from all the cares and worries that tend to weigh us down so often was immediately apparent. You feel like a boss out on the streets and the kind of attention this bike demands from the onlookers is simply amazing. The drag style handlebar along with a well cushioned seat and slightly commuterish kind of set rider foot pegs might feel a little awkward to begin with but once you get used to the riding posture the smile on your face starts getting wider and brighter. You feel like an eagle soaring across the skies above all the storms that life has to throw at us. The engine is very refined so long as you are in the right speed and in the right gear. There are some vibrations apparent when you try to push the bike a bit harder but so long as you keep it within its limits it is a sheer joy to ride. The gearbox works smoothly as well. I loved the feel of the clutch and the brake levers. They seem to be of very good quality. The clutch is light and easy to use. The engine responds well to throttle inputs and we do get adequate acceleration when we need it. I managed to do close to 120 km per hour on this bike but cruising at around 90 to 100 km per hour would be more enjoyable on this bike because that is what it is meant for. Don't expect high revving characteristics from this like that of a sport bike or even that of the Street 750 because this is meant to be a relaxed sportster that you would enjoy zipping through the city streets and also take out on those refreshing weekend rides. The bike comes with foundation brake system with a 300mm disc up front and a 260mm disc at the back. Up front we get an all aluminium integrated master cylinder for reduced friction and higher efficiency along with steel braided lines and at the back too we have the all aluminium integrated master cylinder with reservoir and these together offer adequate stopping power. The 2017 model also gets ABS as standard which is amazing. Now please note that the bike I rode is the 2016 model wherein everything is the same except for the lack of ABS. You can see here a wire emanating next to the brake and this is the ABS sensor whereas here we see that there is no wire because this is the non-ABS model. Even on the non-ABS bike the braking was quite effective at a speed of over 100 km per hour. Then when I tried harsh braking at 120 km per hour there was just a slight hint of fish tailing before the bike steadied itself so overall I am quite satisfied with the brakes on this bike. The suspension too is very well tuned to offer good comfort at lower speeds to tackle the regular bad patches that we find on our roads. It did hold up good even at triple digit speeds. Now this comes courtesy of the brawny front forks with cartridge dampening and the emulsion rear shocks with screw adjustment. The bike comes with Michelin Scorcher tires that offer good road grip. We get a 19 inch 100 by 90 tire up front and a 16 inch 150 by 80 tire at the back. Ground clearance is 140mm which is manageable on our Indian road conditions. Just need to be a little careful with those crazy mad angled speed breakers or vehicle breakers. Seat height is 760mm which means this bike can be enjoyed by shorter riders, average height riders as well as taller riders up to 6 feet tall. Fuel tank capacity is 12.5 litres which I think is not bad and is manageable. Mileage wise I think one can expect around 15 to 17 kmpl depending on the riding style and riding conditions. Price Ek Showroom Hyderabad for the IN883 2017 ABS variant starts from around 8.13 lakhs. For more details about booking, delivery, on-road price etc you can call the number appearing on the screen currently. Well that's pretty much it for now. I just hope you found this video useful. Until next time this is Dino saying ciao. Take care, God bless and ride safe. Thank <laughs> you.